Robert Seeley here. I just wanted to record this short um, video that will show you how to import a, an EPS file, which is kind of already a, um, usually already a vector file in itself um, that you want to digitize for embroidery, something like a logo. So if you've been given an EPS file, you want to definitely import that dude in the art canvas. So when you load the V7 program, go to the art canvas, here we are. So the first thing you want to do is just go up to the little import button right here. And we'll left click import, and then the file browser will come up. And just go find the location of the file you're looking for. And in this situation, I'm going to select this Max uh, T3 logo no background. And I'm going to left click import. And then there'll be a couple screens um, asking you what you want to do. You definitely want to import it as curves. You see right here, import as curves, hit enter on the keyboard, and then there's your file. Now you'll notice your EPS file over here in the object manager is grouped together. I would suggest uh, ungrouping it. That way you're left with just the curves. And you can see all of the curves right here are uh, still selected. And once all the curves are selected, all you do then is, uh, what you don't do, you don't hit the uh, Embroidery Canvas button. All right, you don't really want to work with EPS files in the Embroidery Canvas, okay? They are different, much different than bitmap files. What we just want to do simply here, since this is a vector, just left-click Convert, and shabam. There you go. It's just like that. It's just that easy right there. It's easy to get off track and uh, import the, uh, the artwork into the wrong place and then one thing leads to another and you could be pulling your hair out. So that's how you do it. Those EPS files, import them in the art canvas and convert. This is Clint Seeley. Thank you for watching.